Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so uh, this is going to be an, an Aries Sun Moon and as well rising, a weekly tarot reading October twenty first to October twenty seventh, a two thousand and nineteen. And bear with me just a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which will represent Aries' topic for the week, the, the general theme here, that will be the Moon card for what it seems, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that Aries uh, needs to overcome throughout the week, and that is going to be the Emperor card, followed by the third one, which represents the uh, <clears throat> positive aspect that is going to help you throughout the week, Aries, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. And then the last one here that we do have, it is it regards to the guidance that Taro is offering to you. And that is going to be the Seven of Swords. All right, so once again, uh, before we scrutinize the reading here, uh, the Moon card is going to be in regards to the topic of your week, followed by the Emperor card, which stands for the challenges. The third card here, it is the Two of Pentacles, which represents the uh, positive aspect. And then the last one, it is the Seven of Swords, which stands for the guidance the Tarot is offering. All right, so uh, the Moon card uh, as a topic is going to be catalyzed for what it seems that will be the Six of uh, Wands. So we do have any uh, passive enemies in, the particular, in this particular case. So what I do suspect that we're talking about here is unexpected, I would say delays or um, most likely is going to appear as a, a delays or um, in a certain way of the, well, you know the situation when you do something, you do expect results and these results does not come around. Now these two cards in a combination are very, very similar with the hangman in a sense of that you did your part in whatever endeavor, either career or relationship we're talking about here. And now, as you have done your part, you send, let's say, your message to the universe. And it is time for you to wait a little bit so the rest that are involved into this situation to send their message into the uh, to the universe so, you know, the enterprise or the endeavor can actually materialize. So these two cards here, Aries, are uh, urging you, or the topic itself is pointing that you may experience some feelings of insecurity. You know, you did something, for example, you paid for something and it, it, isn't, coming in, it isn't coming in throughout the month. Or you did some performance and you don't receive the answer, no different than, for example, here applying for an interview. And although you do qualify, you don't hear from them at least throughout this week. So senses of insecurity, vagueness, you know, and that could cause many people to start daydream, you know, go into certain fantasies, 
uh, definitely a negative kind of fantasies here throughout the week. For example, person that doesn't love you, the, the, the person you, you like doesn't love you, you know, or your boss is mad at you and so on and so forth. And it is important here not to um, kind of indulge yourself with those fantasies because with these two cards, like said, circumstances currently are arranging, nothing is uh, resolved yet. So all that you can do right now you just observe the uh, the environs and um, when everything is cooked up then you are going to know uh, what what is the best possible course of action from now on and as a matter of fact when the things resolve for you guys uh, you are to see that uh, actually you are finding yourself in a pretty pretty good spot but you just need to endure you know this uh, week that it is going to be a time of like said, insecurity, vagueness, and reluctancy, and etc., etc. Which leads us to the next card that stands for the challenges. This is going to be the Emperor, and in this case, it's going to be catalyzed by the King of Cups. So most likely we're talking about a career. Now this challenge is going to perform deeply into career endeavors. Now we do have an, an active enemies once again. The, the previous combo was passive enemies, but we do have an active enemies. And what you're going to struggle with, it is your professional presence, to exert your professional presence. Imagine this, you daydream and you freak out why the things are not producing any results. And so you slowly but steadily start abandoning your professional, like said, presence and uh, professional attendance, if you want to say it that way, toward the project and people sees you as what? As a completely unreliable person, someone who cannot make a, a decision based on pure professionalism, but they, they make decision based on some sort of a uh, hunches and emotions that pretty much doesn't make any sense to anybody around. And in generally, the structure itself is going to be... Um, it's going to be the challenge for yourself to kind of like to maintain your calmness, to, to, to maintain your, if you want to say your clamor that the things are not went sour yet at this particular stage. And uh, <clears throat> pretty much that will be expected from you um, in either of career or relationship wise, not to freak out, right, from the unpredictable course of events that you're going to see in front of you or seemingly unpredictable that is because almost all of you are going to think of that there is the resolution of the situation that you have invested so much into it's anybody's guess and when things once again resolve they are going to lead you exactly where you are supposed to be that is the best property of the moon card so uh the next one is going to be the positive aspect of uh the weekend that is going to be the two of pentacles and it is accompanied here by the sun card so we do have an, an a passive neutrals and for these two cards i could say that sentence here the biggest fish is catched in the murky waters so this mm, environment of a vagueness and insecurity uh will predispose you or give you the circumstances to rearrange certain as aspects in your life generally um directed toward a those kind of enterprises that you do for hobby or you do to just enjoy yourself and feel yourself happy so positive wise it does look like that you are going to be able to let go of certain um outdated concepts all right certain outdated ideas if you will which are not going to look that drastic or rather like that impactful uh in regards to the grand scheme of things However, once you make the necessary or kind of like the conscious changes into those um, into those seemingly, seemingly peripheral activities, you are to see that actually your and the entirety of your life is start uh, changing itself toward the better. What I mean is that you have to start building up your fortress wall or not a fortress wall, but let's say your castle from it from the small rocks that are to be on, um, at the bottom of it and then you know you can uh, upgrade it furthermore. Uh, 
So be playful, you know, try to be adaptable. Don't try to control the situation, but rather try to align yourself with the situation. And you are going to see that uh, contrary to your expectations, because like I said, you are today dream, things are going to start unfolding quite naturally for you. But once again, you need to keep up with the dynamic of the uh, routine, which you're not going to have any problems with, because this is what we do have for the positive aspect. And the last one regards to the guidance here, Aries, and that is going to be the Seven of Swords accompanied with the Seven of Pentacles. We do have an, an active enemies in this particular um, state. So as an active enemies, uh, pretty much like say active enemies, these two cards are urging you to not let go of in a sense. Now, what I can say, uh, in addition to the previous cards, to the narrative here, it is that uh, once you fall into these states of daydreams and start feeling, um, you know, mm, the situa that the situation is uh, unreliable and vague and, and you, you lack security, then you may start kind of like self-impose a certain... Uh, thoughts and as well determinations, if you will, that uh, you wh whatever you have done was in vain. And guidance-wise, uh, these two cards are urging you to stand for your uh, personal rights, even if it seems that it is against all odds. That that is what these two cards literally are saying. And the more the the, the the bigger the odds are looking uh, are looking like, the more. Um, the more aggressiveness it will be, uh, it will be expected from you when the circumstances arrange. That is, and that aggressiveness, because we said at the start that you can't do much about it until you know the 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 picture is kind of clearer and uh, the, the the fog is lifted. <clears throat> You can direct direct that aggression into those conscious changes that you can actually control on into your environs, so you can make uh, your day by day routine much more pleasant and much more enjoyable for you. So that being said, there is this was your weekly tarot reading October twenty first to October twenty seventh two thousand and nineteen. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.